Hey Soul Family, welcome back to the channel. This is the White Feather Tarot and in today's reading we're taking a look at important news from your spirit guides. And to do this reading uh, we will be pulling out three major arcanas from this deck but of course if you prefer to pick your piles using your zodiac signs you will find a timestamp for that down in the description box. Okay, so let me pull out three cards from this deck. One, two, and three. And see what we have. For pile number one, you've got the strength card. For pile number two, you've got the, v the chariot card. And for pile number three, you've got the Lover's card. If you prefer to pick your pals using your crystals, let me add these right now. There we go. So for pile number one, you've got the Carnelian. For pile number two, you've got the citrine. And for pile number three, you've got the fluorite. So take a look at which one of these three piles you're the most drawn to and this will be the pile for you here today. In case you feel drawn to more than one pile, maybe even all of the piles, trust your intuition. It might just take you to uh, important news that you're meant to hear in today's reading. Uh, your intuition is the energy that leads you to your readings. So trust it, let it lead the way and see what it's trying to show you. Once you're ready, you'll find the timestamps down in the description box, which will take you straight to your reading. And also please note that in a moment, I will be assigning different zodiac signs to each pile. And so if this is something that you do not prefer, please pause the video and take as much time as you need. If you prefer to pick your piles using your zodiac signs, then this part of the introduction was created specifically for you guys. And after the shuffling, I will be drawing out four signs for each pile. I've got some in my hand, uh, in my hand, I mean. Uh, so the signs for pile one are Leo, Taurus, Aries, as well as Capricorn. Interesting, Leo with the strength card, wow. And Carnelian, wow, very powerful pile. I wonder what's gonna be in there, I don't know, but it seems like it's a powerful message. If you've got a fire placement, especially Leo or Aries, I highly recommend you check out this pile. Uh, pile number two. The signs are Libra, Aquarius, Virgo, and Pisces. Signs for pile number three are Cancer, Scorpio, Sagittarius, as well as Gemini. And my dear soul family, these are the zodiac signs and their association to each of the piles in today's reading. Please feel free to pick your pile or piles using your sun, moon, or rising, especially if you've got a fire placement in your chart, I highly recommend you go by the first pile. Uh, alternatively, if you prefer to pick your piles using other placements in your chart, please feel free to do that. You know, these are just different suggestions and different ways to make it fun for you to pick your pile and easier for you as well to, 
yeah, to pick them. And once you're ready, you'll find the timestamps down in the description box. Click on your times and I will see you in your readings. Hi pile number one, welcome to your reading. Today we're taking a look at important news from your spirit guides. These are the decks that I'll be using for, ooh, for your reading today. Uh, if you're interested in knowing the names of any of them, as I always uh, remind you guys, you'll find them listed down in the description box for you guys. Okay, so let me introduce your pile to you. Your crystal is the beautiful uh, carnelian. Your significator card is the strength card. And if you've picked your pile using your zodiac signs, then in that case, the signs for this pile are Leo, Taurus, Aries, and Capricorn. Welcome to your reading. If these are not your zodiac signs, please don't worry about it. It's just another way for others to pick their piles as well. All right, so let's take a look at, oh, look at this one sliding out. The important news that is meant to reach you from your spirit guides. So you've got Mercury in Taurus with patience. Mm -hmm. mm. And I'm like, um, really, uh, it's clicking because of the story from the strength card, which we'll explore in a moment. You've got the third house with communication. Um, you've got thoughts, socializing, again, very interesting because of the story here. A communication style, learning, the mind, early education, siblings, interests, short trips, and language. All right. It's becoming clearer every card, with every card. So here you've got we the Hathors. And it says, deep love, mother's milk, birth as a portal. Wow. Um, the goddess Hathor, the goddess of love and beauty. All right. You've got rats. So some of the keywords here are eaten alive, spread disease, uh, laboratory. What else? Mouse, squeaks low life infestation right okay and you've got privileged lady oh my god it is so similar to your significator card your privilege is going to save you soon and boy do they have news for you were you outcasted from a specific community Boy, do I have news for you. Like a, some type of community, maybe your work. I don't know. There's some form of outcasting here. But in any case, let's take a look at your tarot cards. Okay, so let's take a look at what your cards are showing us. So this is an extra card in this deck. And it says the stairs of lost steps. Okay. Kind of feels like you've made a lot of effort, a lot of effort before, and it took you nowhere. You've got the Seven of Wands. Perhaps you were unfairly attacked, challenged. Wheel of Fortune, things are, sh sh the energy is shifting. Everything is changing. Four of Swords, here to finally bring you peace. Knight of Wands, this is really good because this talks about excitement. And the Devil card. 
Do we have space for one more card? Yes, we do. Great, because I just saw this one. The High Priestess. Oh, boy, are you getting news with the High Priestess here. It's showing you something that you have no idea about in the near future, nor are you expecting it. A glimpse into what you can expect in terms of your community. And why do I keep saying community? Because in this strength card, this is a, Som a Somali folk uh, tale talking about how a small village uh, used to raise lions from when they were born so that th these lions protect their farmlands. And there was this one lion who was born with red bright eyes, as you can see. And this lion was so scary. And at some point the villagers were super afraid of this lion. And so they threw him out of the farmlands and he had to um, live in the jungle all alone. And he would often, uh, as the story depicts, uh, stand on the edge and look upon his all old village, see how they're doing, because they pushed him away. So it's something that he, wa he, wa he felt so sad about. And at some point, uh, when the lion grew up, the village got attacked by a huge dragon who wreaked havoc and um, blew fire, set fire into the, into the fields, burned the crops and everything. And all of the lions there, they weren't strong enough to fight this huge dragon until Badoon summoned his courage, decided to come and protect the village, uh, summoned his courage, yeah, exactly, and he charged and he attacked this dragon, mainly because, I, I mean, the dragon was shocked, mainly because he saw two red bright eyes, flaming eyes rushing at him, which obviously caught him off guard, allowing Badoon, the, the lion, to attack him and um, save the whole village and where he was celebrated. Everyone was um, welcome, welcomed him back, understood how, uh, in, how protective he is of the village, how much he loved the people. And yeah, and so he was welcomed back. So there seems to be something about a whole crowd of people um, outcasted you in the past. It seems like with infestation here, like they had a f like a really false belief, a bad limiting belief about you. S this manifestation seeing privileged, privileged lady, uh, just like Badoon as well, he was privileged with his strong fiery eyes, which is what they were looking for in the first place. So maybe um, due to your privilege, this uh, infestation could have been jealousy, right? Jealousy amongst the community it doesn't have to be. It could be just the infestation of maybe they were privileged um, and they outcasted you for one thing or the other. Who knows? But with patience, I felt like you have waited for a long time Um in and out maybe you felt like yeah because there's waiting with the four of swords here so my guess is you've been patient with what they were doing you maybe recognize that that it wasn't really about the people it was about the maybe limiting beliefs that they had or maybe someone with the devil here someone was spewing um negative things about you it could be that as well pushing everyone to go against you yeah that's what i'm seeing here in this pile at some point with the seven of wands i feel like you were it's like everyone was against you and again the seven of wands by the way stands on a higher plateau there's something about people fighting you for being privileged i think here in this pile it's about you being privileged. Yes, even your significator card talks about the same thing. Perhaps that's why you were patient. 
with Mercury and Taurus. You know, Mercury and Taurus, the type of communication is to build strong foundation, to do things properly. It's not about rushing. It's not about quantity. It's quality. So you are calm. You're grounded. You're not rushing. You'd rather have uh, you'd rather have connections done correctly or done right than uh, having many of it, than maybe being popular even. You'd rather build the right connections. That's your communication style, Mercury and Taurus. You'd, you'd rather build stable uh, connections with strong foundations than it's about, than it is more about um a many right also another thing i'm focusing on is taurus they're very to be honest they're very showy while you're not coming across as showy but it seems like your privilege is greatly seen whatever that privilege is maybe you're wealthy maybe you're good looking maybe you're well educated maybe you've got the whole package who knows there's something about you standing out and so the news is the efforts that you've put in previously that seemed like they weren't taking you anywhere. Somehow, uh, well, somehow, somehow will have an effect. I don't want to guess. Let me just pull out the cards instead of guessing. <laughs> somehow will have an effect on something these days with the news that you're meant to hear, with the unknown here of the High Priestess. So what are the steps? How are the steps that you've previously taken going to have an effect? Because at the end of the day with your Significator card, it was the steps of Badoon that brought all of this love. Uh, they, the villagers understood what he was able to do and that he wasn't there to attack them, that limiting or wrong belief that they had, they, that he was here to be part of the community. So what is this showing? The stair, the stair of lost steps. So you've got the seven of pentacles. Yeah, you can see that you worked hard before, you were patient, that's there. You've got the hanged man. Maybe you got scrutinized for it even. And you've got the nine wands. Right, now we're going to be reading them in terms of how are the past steps that you've taken? How are they helping you now with the news that your spirit guides want to show you? You will be seen as courageous and confident with the nine of wands. Something is coming out that will show that what you've been doing is gold, that what you've been doing was very valuable, actually. People will go back and look, ah, remember, pile one actually did this, pile one did that, pile one did this. And although pile one was doing something super valuable, they were scrutinized for it. And despite that, they stood there strong, confident, they, they kept their ground. What admirable traits. So, four of swords in that case could be signifying that you haven't, there's like um, a time of no talk, four of swords, a long time of no talk with these people. Like maybe you cut them out or you just weren't talking to them. So you can see here with the Knight of Wands, there is exciting news and it seems to be about this toxic thing. Is it the revelation of toxic toxicity? What is it? Let's find out. What is this representing for pile one and the news that they're meant to hear? The world. I feel like your community is about to get a peek, a sneak peek into the whole picture. Some news is coming out and it's no longer about 
uh, maybe someone talking about you, but rather the truth appearing, talking about you, a peek into your world, a peek into what you were actually doing, a peek into your intentions, the hierophant learning, exactly. There seems to be learning about your world, learning about what you were trying to do, learning about your capabilities, that's coming out. Queen of Swords is the card of truth. Truth revelation, which makes me think, how about we ask, what is this? So that's the revelation of the truth. This means that, that the toxicity is being revealed. Okay. Right. So what is the truth that's coming out? What's the truth that's coming out for pile one, please? The hermit. Truth that has been hidden with the hermit, like uh, someone hid it. Four of pentacles, someone kept it to themselves, okay? May we, are we allowed to find out what the truth is that's coming out? <laughs> Six of pentacles, it seems like somebody is going to be giving it to the communities like someone will generously be telling everyone about it also somebody will be showing how generous you were so that someone's hiding the truth but there's somebody else who's openly giving it because it was greatly hidden with the hermit this is like a, a best kept secret so there is someone, it seems, or a group of people who were the cause for this infestation or the bad news, the wrong, false narrative. The Empress, we were asking, what is this news? The, if we see the Empress, then we're taking a look at the truth of the abundance that you were trying to give to everyone, the truth of how awesome you are, how nurturing, how caring you are, the truth of maybe the things that you've done, that these could be representing accolades, maybe, hey, by the way, you have this all wrong, did you know that pile one has done this and they've achieved this, if this is your work, for example, it's more about polishing your image to really who you are. Someone to, in a higher like position in society or in your company, telling everyone about, uh, about you, being fair, being balanced, and letting the truth out. And the truth is about who you are because it seems like the toxicity was hiding the fact that you are privileged, was hiding the fact that you are amazing, you are awesome. I would say this could be jealousy. Oh, uh, it might not be jealousy. It might also be um, afraid. Or some people afraid that you would take them their place. Some people afraid that you would get attention, something of that sort. So it's either jealousy or just fear of what your br privilege brings to the table. And so there's someone talking about how hard you worked, uh, the the great things you've done, how you were sacrificed, uh, how you stood there strong despite the attacks, how you held your head high, how you were kind and patient despite of everything, and how caring you are and who you are as a person. And the type of growth that you've gone through that's not seen even or recognized. So the Wheel of Fortune definitely shows us that uh, fate is changing, energy is changing, the cycle is changing. So many grand changes will be happening to you and the opposite end, many changes. And uh, you, you won't believe me, but I've seen this energy over and over these days. It, I'm starting to feel like <laughs> I'm repeating, but... This is what the energy is showing, guys. 
Uh, and if you're wondering what is this all about, the High Priestess is showing you're not expecting this. Wait until you see what's popping out. So the important news here is that everyone is going to get a, a, whole, a good peek at the whole picture. Um, removing the lies, removing the false narrative, removing the wrong ideas. Everyone will learn the truth that has been hidden on purpose. Somebody has been keeping it in hiding. Someone else, on the other hand, wants to give it out to everyone and let them know who you are. It's, it's very clear. And you've got the goddess Hathor, which is the goddess of love. And so after all of, these, of this toxicity, uh, you can see the community loving you for who you are now. They get to find out the truth and celebrate you. Uh, also, it's Empress energy, Hathor. It's, it's also, um, it's beauty, not just love, beauty and love. So there's a glow up here. There is a glow up to, I would say in that case, your reputation. So you have been very patient with this situation. Uh, you have communicated with great grace and elegance. You never lost your ground. You stood there confidently and you haven't spoken or at least you were minding your own business with the Four of Swords. You were keeping to yourself, uh, keeping your mind calm. Not, uh, I would say this is like not interacting and fighting and all of that. Keeping your energy from all of this toxicity. But yeah, expect great news of someone spilling the tea of exactly what someone else was hiding. So the question becomes, oh, I just had a question and I lost it. Uh, how, how is this, the tea being spilled out now? How, like, what are you gonna be hearing? Uh, what, what's going to happen? How is the tea being spilled? What is the details of this event, if we're allowed to know? Because your cards here say that you have been patient for a long time and now it's time for you to see the fruits of this patience. Eight of Cups. Two of Swords. This is definitely an event that nobody is seeing coming. <laughs> this is someone decided to move. They've already moved to take action. The death card, the huge transformation. Expect some slaughtering. Um, and of course, this is metaphorically speaking. Uh, many people's reputations are going to go down with the lies that they've once decided to create. Yes, a huge event, just like the dragon. So this is, seems to be a huge event that's going to take place that will force others to see the truth. Ace of Pentacles. Mm, this is a huge event. <laughs> okay, a huge event that nobody would have imagined or have seen coming. That will cause a new beginning, just like the Wheel of Fortune. Things are changing. The papers are rearranged. The talk is rearranged. Everything is rearranged. There's a whole new beginning with this situation. So it's a major event that will cause people or someone to look at the unknown with the two of swords to go search for the hidden so this could mean for example that someone could recently uh, could have recently been uh, affected by the same behavior of this toxic person in the community has been has been treated uh, in such an ill way but it seems like this person has a different communication style. They will choose, maybe they knew about what these people have done to you. And so they're like, oh, wait up. 
I'm going to spill the tea. Go ahead. Do you know that this person did this to this person? Did you know that they did this? Did you know that they, they're spilling the tea and they're letting it all out? They're very outspoken. They are bold and they were not hold back. They're like, here, go take this, take that. <laughs> letting everyone know about you because in that way, they are saving themselves from the grasp of this person's toxicity or this group of people's toxicity that they know the game of. They know how they play. They know what they're going to do. They've seen it before. And now they know that um, they're going to be treated in the same way. And that's why they are deciding to spill all of the tea and talk about what happened to you first, giving them the whole picture of what happens. And you can see that this is actually going to cause wreak havoc because that's going to be a huge event uh, and many information is coming out um, of what these people were trying to do and you can see that the situation is changing forever transforming forever eight of cups is walking away it talks about how many people are walking away from um, the grasp with the devil card, the grasp of this person, they're no more controlled, at least with the mind, with the ideas, with the thoughts. They're like, yeah, that person is a liar or these people are liars. And they will admire, because we keep seeing here, they will admire um, how you stood confidently. They will, they will <clears throat> feel bad that you were sacrificed. They will see how hard you worked. Um, and yeah, there's a new chapter, my dear pile number one, with regards to this situation. You will be crowned, honored, uh, and admired for who you are and admired for the privileges. Now people will know about your privilege uh, and they will, I don't know, like I want to say want to use your privilege or allow you to use your privilege for everyone. There is like a great honoring moment coming up for you and I believe that your spirit guides today wanted to deliver this important news to you there's so much love coming your way and you've been very patient with this and um, be prepared to genuinely be honored because some tea is coming out these days and my dear pile number one this is exactly what I see in your reading I wish you the best of luck with that and if you've enjoyed your reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. Th thank you so much for tuning in. I do hope that you guys update me with what's going on in your lives. If you want to, I I believe me, I'll be the first to celebrate you and to be happy for you for whatever um, is happening and seeing your rights come back. You seem to be a wonderful person. That's how your spirit guides are describing you. And there is so much love coming your way. So my dear pile number one, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number two. Oh, looks like we're supposed to take these two cards. Welcome to your reading. Today, we're taking a look at important news from your spirit guides. These are the decks that I'll be using. If you're interested in knowing the names of any of them, please note that I always list them down in the description box for you guys. But very quickly, let me introduce your pile to you. So your crystal is the beautiful citrine. Your significator card is the chariot card. And if you've picked your pile using your zodiac signs, then in that case, the signs for this pile are Libra, Aquarius, Virgo, and Pisces. Welcome to your reading, guys. If these are not your zodiac signs, please don't worry about it. It's just another way for others to pick their piles as well. Okay, so let's see what your important news is all about. You've got Boss. Can you see your card? No, there we go. You've got Boss and you've got history oh time travel garuda in the chariot card is about um swiftly traveling anywhere maybe it's time travel who knows but let's see we'll talk about it in just a moment but let's take a look at the rest of your cards you've got message 
Looks like somebody here is already working on that message and will be sending it to you. Okay. Mm -hmm. You've got, there we go. Ah, that's the same card that popped up in pile number one. If you're drawn to pile number one, I highly recommend it. So you've got Mercury and Taurus with patience. Okay. Uh, you've got, ooh, fate. Wow. So you've got the North Node with the keyword fate. Other keywords are destiny, life goals, lessons, journey, calling. Uh, and I think there was someone calling someone outside as we said that. Mission, a calling or, yeah. M uh, calling, look. I know it, it means a, a calling, but yeah. Mission, challenges, soul purpose, the future, karma, learning curve, and the destination. If I tell you the amount of cards the last two weeks, I think I'm like starting to sound like a broken record. The amount of karma uh, and rights coming back, it's crazy. I don't know what's going on. I do actually with the solar eclipse that just happened. But I mean, I cannot believe that it would have such a huge effect on the cards to this extent. I mean, I've seen cards being repeated, but never in that magnitude in my life. Okay. So you've got earth pulsing. Pulse of the mother, slow down time in nature. Yeah, it makes me feel like there's some energy changing throughout the earth in general. It's a time where great things are changing. You know how the earth is moving forward the earth is purging the earth is cleansing and reviving or something like that and um it's it's gonna have an effect on all of us so you've got double mission whoa very cool and the keywords are light worker star seed serve the world by being you what a sweet message so nice all right so are you gonna get an offer where you get to shine your light and do your role during that great time as the earth is you know changing perhaps you've got a, a strong goal now mm. anyways this is just uh these are just guesses at this point we'll be able to understand as we take a look at your cards uh as a whole so i'm going to pull out the first row and we can start investigating what your important news is from your spirit guides so i feel these two cards actually let's take them these cards this one and these this one as well as that one. Oh, and this one okay <laughs> we were just talking about the world. So you've got the world card. Yeah, do you see there's like a huge energy, huge change, huge transformations to everyone, it seems. The lover's card. The vibration, do you see? It's like unbelievable. Especially yours and how it's having an effect on everyone. It's so interesting. You've got... Ah, that's an extra card in this deck called Present Moment. Something is happening now. <laughs> we were just talking about synchronicities. So that's an extra card in this deck called Synchronicity. And you've got the strength card. So far, the only car tarot cards that came out are major arcana. So that's a major event, major news that you're going to be hearing about. And that even the last card in this row is a high priestess. It's a major arcana. Major, major news. In pile number one, the last card on this row, yes, was the high priestess. So very intriguing. 
Right, I think maybe the news will start with these two cards. So let's reveal them. The Two of Wands and the Page of Cups. Sorry, Spirit is the Queen. Pa two of Wands and the Queen of Cups. You're really on the precipice of great change. Uh, on a journey you will love. And your role as the Queen of Cups, Starseed Lightworker, uh, is very important. So now the reading, perhaps you've heard a little bit about this news before, but now the reading is going to tune you in on exactly what you're meant to hear about your future, as well as your North Node, your mission. See, double mission, North Node. It seems like you do have a double mission. <laughs> you have two roles coming up next. I believe you are going to be assigned, and I don't know if boss here is an actual assignment by someone in your life, or is it representing your higher self or something? I'll find out. But, but what I can tell you, what I do see clearly, is that you will, one of your roles will be in cleansing or rectifying something that happened wrong in the past and you might be asking me where i got this idea from uh I'll, t I'll i'll uh i'll show you the connection but i can't help the fact that somebody's writing you a message now and you will be receiving it i really feel that you will be receiving actually a message soon so this is somebody in like this is not your spirit guides i mean this card, you'll be receiving a message and you will embark on a new mission that you're not expecting. One is clear to you, like you know what you're meant to do in the world. Perhaps you know your mission with the North Node or maybe not at all. Maybe both will become clear. But in any case, one of them you're not seeing at the moment. It's like, I have a double role. I ha I'm supposed to do something like that. This is going to be as a great surprise. And that's why it's an important news. It might sound crazy now, but wait and see what happens. Um, I feel like you're going to be rectifying something. And I believe it has to do with the planet. It's a, it's a worldwide role, by the way. Crazy, but I see it in your cards. And always remember, crazy does happen, you know? Somebody's gonna have something crazy happen and uh, it might just be you. And it's a really good one. You're gonna love this, by the way. You're not gonna hate it or anything. It's a grand role, but it doesn't mean it's anything scary at all. So why am I saying that? Because here we've got uh, Garuda in, Hindu, um, in Hinduism. This is a demigod who's depicted here as the Vahana, um, the vehicle of the god Vishnu. And um, Garuda is, like I mentioned to you, a time, not just time, sorry, I was talking about time, but Garuda is able to swiftly travel anywhere. And so one of the stories is he was saving his mother from the hands of the Nagas. Uh, it's like a serpent, uh, powerful type of beings. And so when he was trying to save, save his mother, and this is the reason why I said it has to do with the earth, Mother Earth, the Nagas, they requested or in fact demanded in order to free her that uh, Garuda would get them the Amrita, you know, the nectar of immortality. And he had to go and take it from heaven, almost steal it from heaven. But here's the plan. He took the Amrita and he gave it to the Nagas, but he told them that he had to, they had to do a cleansing ritual, ritual before they used it. And so he tricked them as they were doing this cleansing ritual. Jayanta, who's the son of the god Indra, stole the Amrita and uh, he was able to save his mother and also uh, the Amrita, right, from the Nagas. So it's a very interesting mission, as you can see. And I do see that you have a mission or a role, an important role in this uh, lifetime, in this time of your life, present moment right now. And you'll be surprised to know that you will be playing a grand role that you will be assigned to do. And it might not be anything 
drastic. Uh, not the effect, but I mean what you have to do. High priestess, if you're like, what? Yes, high priestess signifies that you do not see this coming at all. But in this reading, the veils are open and they're letting you see um, what's going to happen there. So what's going to, about to happen in your life, your light, your vibration, who you are, the skills that you have, who you choose to be, all of this combined uh, makes you the perfect person to do this. It's in fact fated that you're going to do this. Uh, I know it sounds crazy, but it is what I'm seeing. So I don't see you doing anything crazy, to be honest. I feel with the Queen of Cups, it's your nature. It's already how you're vibrating. It's already what you're doing. So the mission seems to be so in tune with who you already are, how you identify yourself to be, how you vibrate. It's just absolutely your nature. Queen of Cups stepping into the water. It's her playground. It's her nature. It's her element. So it might take a little bit of time with patience. So, and this is why I'm seeing everything as stable, as calm, nothing drastic. It's not like a war or anything. In fact, if we think about Garuda, he's solved the whole situation very intelligently. And so similarly, I feel like you will have a role by simply being you. It's like, okay, uh, maybe the communication is you're already doing this. You're already doing that. Uh, you're good at this. Uh, just make sure you, I don't know, do this or do that. Um, and so it's something that you're already doing. You just have to understand how you can be um, an important element in cleansing the earth, I would say. And you're going to do it so intelligently and as I said, it's nothing outside of your nature. It's going to be bold because it's going to require you with the strength card to be out there a little bit. I say that because of the bear and the strength card, which reminds me of hibernation, like coming out, like maybe you are going to um, do your thing but maybe be a little bit out there or do your thing, but um, I don't know, hibernation, meet more people, perhaps. Uh, there's a flock of butterflies. It seems like so many are following you. So, may, so while it's really your nature, I must rectify this a little bit. It's nothing scary, but you will be a little bit out there, I would say. Or uh, maybe stepping out, bringing your light out, bringing what you're already good at out, something like that. Yeah, there's a little bit of courage for sure. Nothing outside of your nature, nothing crazy, but definitely a little bit of courage. And in any case, Garuda is always portrayed as the protector, as courageous. So yes, I would say you will be doing something a little where, where you will be a bit courageous. Maybe you're going to put yourself out there. Maybe you're going to be speaking to a lot of people. Uh, I don't know. It's like doing your thing, but with a bit of boldness. Something you're already talented with. Something you're already uh, blessed with. Just with a bit more boldness. How interesting. And this is happening right now. So you... These days, you're going to see if this was crazy news or not. <laughs> but, yeah. Which makes me want to ask, who is this leader? Who is this boss who's currently working on your message or communicating with you? Definitely have calling or maybe somebody's actually going to call you. Who knows? <laughs> but I feel like you're going to rectify something that has affected our history in a wrong way yeah and this is like a mission something fated that you're supposed to do calmly comfortably with a little bit of boldness yes 
but nothing nothing crazy um and you didn't even see that coming like you never thought you would play this role so who is this boss signifying see job interview someone's already looking for someone like you whoa the emperor this is definitely a boss this is someone who has a huge power over some territory wow if like maybe it could be the manager of your company calling or some leader or something i would say <laughs> look it's crazy what the cards keep repeating themselves so i'm just going to do my job as reading the cards <laughs> and then i'll find out from you what this is all about but i do see something about you seeing many synchronicities these days that were trying to show you that something of that nature was uh, going to happen a and you will be seeing many synchronicities that will show you that this is in fact your calling when that moment happens you will see a synchronicity you see um there's a white feather here which is going to be your message that you are in fact the right person to recruit for this miss mission so can I ask what your synchronicity is going to be? Is it literally going to be butterflies, maybe? Hierophant. It is a synchronicity that has been taught to you over and over, maybe even throughout your life. Something like a specific number, for example, that you've always seen. And when you see that number, you know this is talking to you or maybe your birth date, or it doesn't have to be a number. It could be a specific symbol that you see over and over. And when you see it, you know it's speaking to you. So this is a sign that has been taught to you with the Hierophant over and over and over for this moment. So that when you see it, you know that you're meant to do it. Wow. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. And it, it means it, it seems like if we can call light workers, it means like it means that many light workers will be doing important work that they are not expecting these days. And pile number two, you are definitely one of the uh, ones playing a major role here. Okay. Let's see what else you're meant to hear with this important news. So, all right. Maybe your role will require some traveling. That's what the hibernation may be about, by the way. It may not even be like even scary. The hibernation here means like, from a comfortable place to a new place. So this may require some traveling. Yes, how did I miss this? This definitely will um, cause you to travel. Okay, very interesting. All right. So some traveling these days. You've got the Eight of Swords. We're now continuing to see the rest of your important message. The Eight of Wands. Guys, there is traveling here. Okay. You've got, wow, an extra card in this. Like a lot of the extra cards came out today in your pile. Oneness. Bringing harmony and oneness back. It's almost like you're bringing two sides, helping them unite or something. Bringing harmony in a place of great disagreement, maybe? Bringing two things together. Five of Swords and you're gonna win over it. Yeah, you're gonna make something that was a dry and dying win. Nearly over win. And you've got the Magician, with the four elements. We were just talking about the elements. Okay, and notice the difference here. Here, the hands are stuck, 
and here the ends are open and ready to receive and aligned so you're definitely bringing something in alignment bringing something together bringing it into alignment because previously with the wrong thoughts with the eight of swords the wrong ideologies the wrong ways of doing things was making something so stuck and as you are putting the pieces together by vibrating by being you in this role you'll be able to clearly show and bring everything together thus showing that things don't have to be this way that they can flow easily and you're really going to win at doing that you're really going to win at being able to clearly show what the right thing is so it seems like your role is both of guidance as well as action taking and to be honest i don't see you preparing much for it because it keeps showing that you are skilled at it you know the magician is a skilled archetype so uh, i keep seeing that um, it's not about the preparation it's about just you being you it's going to be done so easily you naturally being you um bringing your skills bringing your ideas maybe out there you will be talking and doing something that will bring things into alignment you will easily win this situation you will be able to easily do it i'm so curious now i really want to ask what are you going to be doing <laughs> can we ask about that uh, i feel like it's so secretive but i mean if we're allowed what is it that you're going to be doing exactly what are you and, and it seems like you're going to be doing it quite intelligently here bringing the good maybe from the grasp of the bad or something so what are you going to be doing exactly what are you allowed to know about that the king of cups the tower card with love you will drop something huge wow okay nine of pentacles wow there's flying or maybe a bit of traveling here nine of wands safe saving the vulnerable saving something vulnerable every time we take a look at what you're going to be doing you keep getting the cups the king of cups or the queen of cups and lastly you've got the five of cups as well as the ace of pentacles do you see how this is hazed out there's something about disappointment that's not really seen which means that if it was found out about it this huge disappointment what's jarringly wrong it would cause a great shock it would wreak havoc and so you are intelligently you're doing something so lovingly and look again the traveling as you travel or go somewhere commute to this place as you go you will be doing something so loving that will easily push this terrible energy out and it takes love and high vibration and you might think it's uh, crazy but really it's the higher vibration that has so much power that if done right without the shadow is really able to do so much and so this is why i tell you by being calm loving something that you're so good at already with this move you're going to intelligently push out of the earth some terrible energy it's like you know pushing out disease pushing out toxicity something of that nature 
Finally, saving what was at great risk and extinction. And I have good news for you. With the Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, this is the beginning of you enjoying something, especially resources, so much. So I think it will be rewarding you, not just is it rewarding in you doing your role, but it will be very rewarding in you receiving something that you will really love. It could be um, access to a new place, living in a new place. It could be a house. It could be finances with the pentacles. Uh, but you will be greatly rewarded with something that you would really have wished for in the past with the nine of pentacles. I know it. Um, I rarely do readings that are like crazy like that. <laughs> I swear most of the readings are like pretty normal day to day things. But what can I say? I, I do see big energy here in your reading. And I felt like I must deliver it no matter how crazy. And, and I'm like saying these things and I'm several times going to my mind. Am I crazy? What am I saying? <laughs> But it is what I'm seeing. So I'm just going to choose to always see, say what I see, no matter how crazy it is. And yeah, my dear pile, number one and uh, number two, this is exactly what I see in this reading. And I truly hope you guys do update me if you can, whenever you can, about what this was. Wish you the best of luck. May you always be a light worker. And my dear pile number two, I hope you've enjoyed your reading. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And my dear pile number two, I'll catch you in the next reading. Yeah, expect a call or an email soon, my dear pile number two. Bye! Hi, pile number three. Welcome to your reading. Today, we're taking a look at important news from your spirit guides. These are the decks that I'll be using for your reading today. If you're interested in knowing the names of any of them, uh, you will find that I always list them down for you guys in the description box. But very quickly, before we begin, let me introduce your pile to you. Your crystal is the beautiful fluorite. Your significator card is the lover's card. And if you've picked your pile using your zodiac signs, then, in that case, the signs for this pile are Cancer, Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Gemini. Welcome to reading, guys. If these are not your signs, please don't worry about it. It's just another way for others to pick their pals as well. Okay, so let's check out your Oracle cards first to see what your important news is. So you've got Mercury in Aquarius with innovation. Right. Hmm. You've got conjunction with union. How interesting with the lover's card. Okay. So the keywords are joint forces, working together, merging, enhancing. Empowering, strengthening, combined energy, linked, and also lack of individuality. Right. You've got earthed. Can you see your card? Yes. It says learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. Okay. Hmm. It's almost saying you're out of this world. <laughs> All right, you've got camera. Okay. If we push this to the side a little bit, we'll be able to snug this card in here. So you've got ma main male. Hmm. Someone watching this person or someone watching you who knows okay let's take a look at your tarot cards and see what we've got as your important news here 
So you've got the three of swords and don't they look like watchers as well? I really have this feeling that you are being watched by someone or some people even. All right, you've got the princess of swords. That's the page of swords. Oh my God, speak about being watched. My goodness. <laughs> I bet you noticed that like even before uh, I noticed it. You've got the 10 of cups. The Nine of Cups. The Nine of Pentacles. Guys, the cards. Ten of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. Wow. <laughs> this is like extreme happiness. This is like being so happy, so fulfilled in every way. Or is someone watching how blessed you are? That could be another thing. Let's see. The Eight of Wands, like receiving super exciting news. Your cards are so exciting today. <laughs> okay. And I mean so exciting today as in this pile, pile number three. You've got the star card. Well, I mean, every pile today was uh, surprising in, it, in their own way. But in your pile here... This is huge energy of receiving a message about something that will make you so excited, so happy, so fulfilled. In fact, receiving a message about a huge dream coming true for you. So let's explore this dream and who's watching you here and what is going on. Because generally, I mean, I laughed, but it, but I do feel like this message is saying that you are out of this world, especially that someone or some people are watching you obsessively here. So while we joked about it, it could actually be part of your message. is this trying to say other than you are going to be receiving some super exciting news these days i think let's take it little by little and then it's going to come together so let's explore the significator card first it's a very interesting story that i read but i do want to read it out to you so it is the nopaka and Kawi, Nopaka and Kawi. So it says in ancient Hawaiian tradition, one story tells of a beautiful princess named, and look, we've got the princess of swords here. A beautiful princess named Nopaka, who was madly in love with a handsome fisherman, Kawi. Since the custom of this time strictly forbade royals from marrying commoners, one of the kupunas, the elders, advised the couple to journey to ask the high priest for guidance. When they arrived at the temple, the priest explained that he was unable to give them permission to marry. It was up to the Hawaiian gods. The sky turned dark and a raging storm brewed, signifying disapproval of their relationship. Nopaka took the flower from her hair and tore it in half giving one piece to Kawi and instructed him to return to his village by the seashore. She returned home alone and lived her life in the mountains without him. This is the reason the Nopaka flowers bloom in halves, with the Nopaka Kahiwi blooming in the mountains and the Nopaka Kahakai blooming near the seashore. It is said that when the flowers join together, after being picked from their separate locations, the lovers are reunited once more. So there's something about a reunion of 
a lover, a reunion of at least something that you love. Could this be talking about a huge wish that you, you want back that you used to have one day and you're finally hearing back from this person or from this thing. So it's, a, it's the great news from your spirit guide about a reunion, a strong reunion happening. And so it's not a union, it's a reunion happening. I saw something in the beginning and I can't remember for the life of me. When I saw the lovers and Aquarius, I was like, oh, this is very detached. I think detachment. Yes, I think the detachment Ah, yes, yes, detachment. So something that was detached from you is coming back to you. What's up with the surveillance then? I would say that whatever this energy is, if it's a person, then it's the ma main male. I think this is representing the energy masculine energy is uh, energy of taking action right taking action so that other half that thing that you used to have you're gonna observe that their action is take is being taken at the moment for that union to happen uh, I, I got to think about that. Sir. I mean, if it's a person, it's very easy in that case. It seems like they're watching you. They're watching you. Uh, Three of Swords signifies exactly what we've been seeing. Something that was split, hurt you in the past. And now there is a reunion. You're going to hear great news of this reunion. You're going back to that place. You're going back to that person you going back to the blessing that you had this time you're going to be so happy because this time you go back and you the situation is full of advantages in so many ways it's like you could have had it before and you've enjoyed it obviously but this time you get to go back and it is in its full throttle energy you are extremely happy you're so blessed exactly the way you've envisioned it you're so lucky when it comes to how uh, it's being it's happening for you the surveillance now i gotta ask to be honest i'm not sure why do you have surveillance in this way why are you being watched can we kindly get more information on this please whoa <laughs> queen of pentacles the strength the sun card Oh, are you popular? Well, if it's a relationship, then you're glowing and you are seen as lucrative, like you've got it all. So in terms of relationship, it seems like you're happy, you're doing well, you're already living a great life and uh, you're lucky, you're blessed and this person is watching you. So if this is a relationship, it's quite clear. But I'm sure that not everyone watching will resonate with this. I know, I know you guys by now. <laughs> it's been years. Some of you are interested in relationships. Others are not. And that's why I always make sure that I include everyone in the reading. Uh, so if this is your pile, what are you being watched? Why are you being watched here? Sun is... Oh, you're a great opportunity. You're shining bright, you're a great opportunity, you're lucrative. And so some business person, a company, it could be something has their eye on you at the moment. And this opportunity that is coming from this uh, working together, this joint forces will allow you to be re reunited with that which you love. Perhaps it needs wealth. Um, yeah, perhaps it needs 
uh, wealth, exactly. It needs wealth, it needs power, it needs something. And so this is what you're getting from this co-joining effort that will allow you to be able to enjoy that again. Okay, now we understand it and uh, making sense. This, this I totally understand here. And so I would tell you that someone is watching you right now and saying, oh my God, pile number three is out of this world. I want to work with them. I want to be with them. That's definitely there. And do note that the important news from your spirit guides is that you will be hearing from them very soon. And this will be the moment where you feel, oh my God, my dream is happening. To say that you're going to be happy, lucky, and fulfilled is an understatement with this message. So the, uh, this message, we've got Mercury in Aquarius. This message, we've got information here about it, is what is Mercury in Aquarius? Communication, clear, straightforward communication that is honest. Um, communication that is, I want to say, yeah, straight to the point, unbiased, fair, fair. Uh, out of the box, out of the box. Okay, so this is communication that you're definitely not expecting of this person presenting you with a great idea that you would have never thought of. Um, also Aquarius, they have this shock factor, right? So this communication will shock you, but in a very pleasant way, it will blow your mind. This communication from this person who has been watching you for a while will blow your mind. They will present you with an offer that's quite creative, straightforward, honest, uh, yeah, straightforward, honest. And it is of a con union to, to work together in a way, nature. To be together or to work together. This union will make you very happy. It will either, as mentioned, allow you to get what you want what you've always wanted back because it seems like this is an energy that you've had previously or it's the reunion of a loved one from the past or it's the union uh, bringing you emotions that you used to feel a very long time ago and maybe it wasn't the right time uh, the, maybe it was the right person in the wrong time energy or um, a feeling that maybe you felt, but maybe wasn't the right time because you had to focus on, I don't know, your studies, your work, something like that. And so while you had it back then, it was great energy. You had a little bit of it. It was awesome, but it wasn't the right time. And now is the action taking time with the masculine energy. Now is, uh, is the time where things are going to move. And um, this is the time, this is the right time where you can enjoy this energy to its maximum capacity. In any case, the person that is sending you this communication or calling you uh, believes you are out of this world. How about before we continue the reading, uh, pull out some cards and see what is this person interested in? the different options that we see. What is this person contacting you interested in? So King of Wands, Two of Wands, they, some of you, they want to build, see um, the possibility of growing something with you. Strength card. Uh, the devil card, very highly attracted to you. Yeah, highly attracted to you. And the queen of pentacles, right. Remember, we, you did get the sun card and this queen of pentacles. So for some of you, this is a person who is interested in 
things like your power, your reputation, your uh, power, your reputation, also the strong potential of what you can do together and what type of money you can make together. In any case, they see a strong possibility to grow something with you and they are highly attracted to you, this person, and whatever the context means. This person is like, that's why they're obsessed here. They're like, oh my God, the things, the desires I can have and achieve through this powerful situation, through the growth of our partnership is out of this world good. Um, they, uh, they love your strength. They love your energy and how powerful you are. Uh, also, the King of Wands is skills. They love your skills. Uh, they love what you have to offer. And they love the fact with the Queen of Pentacles that you're doing so good on your own. Yeah, they admire that you're standing, that you're doing so good on your own. Um, perhaps this is like, if this is business, for example, they're like, um, how the, their stability and power and strength will allow them to, for example, do this, 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 and that. Um, so they definitely know what they're bringing to the table. If this is a relationship, then this is a person who admires how you are glowing and having a great life. Um, and they love your life. So in any case, you can see that what you have uh, and their, their, their partnership with you is something that they greatly desire. They love uh, the, the dual power, the power couple that they're going to have with you. They feel like you, you and them will be a powerful, uh, powerful partners that can help grow something. They can envision that with the two of wands. They can envision something great growing between the two of you. Okay, so now we understand the different types of energies we see here. Let me shuffle your deck and I'll be back to continue the important message you're meant to hear from your spirit guides. Okay, so we're ready. One thing is clear, your dream is finally happening. I hope your cards give us more guidance on what is this reunion about, but I'm open to see what your spirit guides uh, want to show you. So you've got the high priestess. The high priestess popped up in all of the piles today. So this is definitely something that you don't see coming and will surprise you. And we did see it with Mercury and Aquarius, a surprising message. You've got the eight of swords. the seven of wands. For some of you, this is your immune system getting stronger because look at that, the eight of swords, you feel stuck, you don't know how to heal. And the seven of wands is reminding me of building a strong immune system. So maybe this is your doctor looking at your reports and giving you great news that you're getting your health back, which is going to make you very happy. So that's another perspective that we can see here. In any case, you've got the six of wands. Wow, I love this for you. The judgment card, finally. Rising. Yeah, you're going finally. The eight of cups saying goodbye to something and the seven of cups and going to places you never thought you would go to. So goodbye to something and hello to something great. Almost like bittersweet energy. You're happy to rise, you're happy to win, you're happy to go but it's like saying goodbye to maybe people that you got used to seeing or something, saying goodbye to one thing and saying hello to another. And so the communication, the news that you will be getting, 
will finally liberate you from something that you have been suffering from. So it's not just uh, like finally getting your dream. This is so important because you finally won't be suffering any longer. You won't be stuck with a place or a situation any longer. Um, there is now strong immunity that will allow you to keep whatever it is that you received here and nobody can take it from you, just like a strong immunity uh, system. In this moment, when you hear the news, you will feel victorious at life or in relationships. You will feel like you made it. You will feel like you made it. Yes, finally I made it. And this message will make you feel so hopeful in a time of darkness and coldness. And it will make you feel like you were able to, that you're proud of yourself for blossoming in harsh times. And you will be so looking forward to joining with this person to, to begin your journey together. Because as mentioned, this will allow you to reunite back with something so important to you. And as the, the hope fills your heart, and as you feel liberated and free from the suffering, there is the shadow and the light. Two things will happen. You will be a bit sad to say goodbye to something and very happy to say hello to something you didn't think was going to happen, to this huge transformation that is moving everything in your life upwards. And you're reaching up to the sky, thanking the universe, thanking God, whatever you believe in, in that moment, that magical moment of something so special like that happening in your life definitely going to feel very spiritual in nature this moment but i can almost hear you say it finally happened and finally i want to ask how is this reunion since it's the significator card the main energy how is this reunion going to happen how is this reunion going to happen king of pentacles this time it's done with so much stability so much resources so much resources and from a powerful place and then the ten of swords the Ten of Swords is the end of pain. You've been mourning something for so long. Let's pull out the rest of the cards before uh, I analyze because I'm sure they're going to come together. You've got the Knight of Pentacles. The Princess of Pentacles. That's the Page of Pentacles counting their money here. So there's a lot of planning and taking it slow. Planning, taking it slow. Seven of Swords, and one more card. The Princess of Cups. A lot of princesses all of a sudden. Mm. And that's important because your Significator card was a princess. She couldn't marry the person that she loved because she was a princess. Which means that the privilege that you had and still have was one day the reason you couldn't have this thing. And now, because of all of the princesses here, it means that now you get to have this privilege or because of that privilege, 
you get to have that. I'm not sure if you're going to understand what that means, but I'm sure when that happens, you're going to look back in the reading and go, ah, because even me, I'm thinking about it now. I, even me having said it, I don't really understand what I've been saying. <laughs> the privilege that was... The, the privilege that you had was the reason that this was taken from you, but it will also be, but this privilege will also be now the very thing that reunites you with this energy. So one day this privilege wasn't to your favor, but now this privilege is in your favor. And it's the very thing that uh, hindered it will be the very thing that actually makes it work now. Right thing at the right time, right person at the right time. We did mention that before, so right thing, right thing, wrong time, right thing, right time is what I'm starting to grasp. So other than the princesses where you start to enjoy this now, you're escaping seven of swords. You're escaping that energy of pain because I do see suffering here with the eight of swords the ten of swords so you're finally uh, ending a, a, a chapter of suffering and pain you're escaping it it's ending because you're escaping it and I don't see you with the knight of pentacles and the page of pentacles like jumping right away into this new chapter going yay there is a little bit of time of goodbye before you start to wander out and venture out into your new exciting world. And I do see that your goodbye time uh, is a time that you're taking it slowly, making sure that you do all the right steps necessary to prevent you from ever going back and to start your new chapter in the right way and thus a great escape so there are a couple of things that you need to put into consideration to work towards to calculate to think about to plan for and to take actions on and i see for a bit of time you doing that you feeling privileged you feeling like it came to you in a time where you're strong you're privileged um that in a time where you can have so much uh, but you're not jumping into it right away. You're like counting what you have or seeing what needs to be done, being very considerate. You know it's there, you're excited about it, you can't wait for it, but you can already stop and smell the roses, you can already enjoy it, but you can't start your new wondrous chapter before you close the old chapter properly and say your goodbyes properly and yes this is exactly what i see in your reading my dear pile number three i truly hope you've enjoyed it if you have please give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that i upload thank you so much for tuning in i wish you the best of luck in this great new chapter of reunion of that energy that you've always loved may you always be blessed and my dear pile number three i'll catch you in the next reading. Bye!